And in Germany, solar is everywhere, nearly everywhere. It's widely spread. So we didn't understand that. We asked people, why is there, why, why are you buying electricity from a utility when you can produce it yourself with your tropical That's sun? True. And then you can save That's so true. much electricity costs. We can go to the streets, you can ask everyone and you say solar, they say, ah, solar panel. Everyone knows that, yeah. but not necessarily how it works, that it is reliable. It works for more than 25 years, fully automatic. Yeah. And when you tell the, this to the people, they understand the value of it. And this is uh, the main thing we are doing now here, educating. We also yeah. work with uh, with institutions like Awad Kalinka, where we I sponsor right. solar systems, ah, yeah, where savings can are. use to, to, to build houses for for people mm. in the Philippines. So um, we, of course, try to give back a lot what we do, but we are focused on urban areas. There has to be a shift because there are statistics worldwide that coal may only last for additional 115 years. And That's right, we have to shift already. Yeah, you have to shift. And currently still 38% of the overall worldwide production of energy is still based on coal. Mm. Yes, so yes, there has yeah. to be a switch. and. Uh, there's no way out. You cannot produce coal. Non-renewable is, is basically something you have limited. No. And coal is limited. Okay. Uh, and renewable is yeah. something we have uh, unlimited. Like sun, wind, wind sun, water. Wind. Yeah, so it can right. renew itself. First of all, with solar energy, you produce carbon dioxide. Neutral, free energy. Uh, what does that mean? In layman's terms. Let's put it like this. So in the Philippines, to give you an idea, um, we produce electricity out of several um, bases or out of several resources. One is coal, for example. That's actually the most. 35% uh -huh. of what we produce um, comes from coal, which is very dirty. Because when you... It's very dirty. Very dirty. Because when yeah. you uh, produce electricity with coal, you need to burn it very hot. Yeah, it's That's a right. Heat yes. and, and, and green gas emissions get get released and that is actually very harmful. There's a study in the Philippines from Greenpeace that already 1,000 um, premature die just because of that. Uh, so um, um, to give you an, an idea, I give you a number. Now you cannot um, deal with that much, but um, one kilowatt hour in the Philippines accounts for 0.603 something kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions already. Um, that is mm. equal to one car that drives five kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. That's so, right, yeah. yeah. It's and, very dirty. Yeah, and if you produce one kilowatt hour of solar energy, you already neutralize that one car that drives five kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to now give you an idea that how much six square meters in the Philippines can harvest, it, it is up to five kilowatt hours a day. Can you explain to us uh, how solar energy, how, how solar systems can help one household and eventually? Uh, not just have a great impact on the environment, but on cost savings as well. Mm. So, first of all, I would need to know how much electricity or how high For example, a 10,000 a month bill. Yeah. 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 10, or 5 to 10,000. Let's just say 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. Yeah. So, um, and then what I would do is I would ask when do that or does that family consume the energy? Is it mostly at night because they sleep with the air cons or is it during the day? Because we need to figure out how much electricity they consume during the day. Because solar gets produced with light, that means the mm -hmm. sun has to uh -huh. be out, right? Mm -hmm. And then okay. we need to try to cover the daily consumption. But usually for a household with 5,000, you can assume 50% at night or 40% per night uh, at night and 60% during the day. So let's say something around 3,000 during the day. Uh, okay. The solar system okay. of around five solar, five to six, seven solar panels saves you already 2,000. 2,500 in average per month. Mm. That is very steady. And the problem in the Philippines mm. is that now, that's also a number I gave you now, we have approximately 23 megawatts of production in the Philippines per year. Mm. So that's what we what we consume Is now. that big? That is, yeah, that's big. I mean, the Philippines is very big. Mm. But in 2040, mm -hmm. this is um, supposed to increase to 45 megawatts. megawatts. So there's okay. a huge need. And <laughs> that's very big. Yeah, so you have to. It's a big number. Exactly. Yeah, because people want to have more energy. Everyone wants has a demand. People and are the population is houses. Yeah. And we, we, our population yeah. grows massively. Yeah. A lot of young people. So um, there needs to be a lot uh, of investment in infrastructure and so on. So there are a lot of factors that play into that number. And the goals the government has are always set, of course, high. Mm -hmm. And I do not know any government. Right. Where yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it won't be a target because it's easy to achieve. Yeah. But the bottom line is we're on a good way. And for me, it is not about 
in general having a business that makes money for me it's about really the, the aspect of um, installing a solar system that neutralizes carbon dioxide emissions because this is what in okay. the end I look at at the end of the year mm. I say okay we installed one megawatt that neutralizes 500 or thousands of cars hundreds of thousands of cars carbon dioxide emissions for the future mm -hmm. for to preserve mm. our tropical beautiful country here in the philippines because this mm. is what we should not waste we live on an island mm -hmm. everyone knows that so yes um, that's right this yeah. is what makes me proud and what um, drives me